Hey guys, Tabs McCaffrey here from the Urban Goddess Shop. Come check us out on Instagram. We are a mom and two daughters thrifting team, but I do all the videos so you'll always kind of see my smiley face here. We're part-time resellers. I am also a full-time pharmacy technician working in our local hospital, kind of doing both and decided to do YouTube videos to share our journey. So we resell on Poshmark, eBay, Etsy, and a little bit on Depop. All right, I want to get this rolling. I just like to dive into these videos. I love sharing all these little sales, give you guys ideas on what's been moving for us. Our shop is a lot of just regular kind of, I don't know how to describe it, a little bit of vintage, just a little bit of everything. And I guess just kind of showing everyone that you can still make money and not always carry bolo items. Okay, that's the end of my spiel. Let's get this rolling. This is for the week of February 22nd to 28th. We had another solid week. We hit over that thousand dollar mark, which is exactly what I'm looking for. I'm starting to maybe think I should be raising our benchmarks and our business goals, but I don't want to get too quick to act on that. So for that week, we had $1,154 in sales, which is fantastic. I'm super pumped. $1,114 of that were on Poshmark. I also had a $40 sale through Instagram, which was to my coworker, Jody. Hey, Jody, I hope you like this. Actually, I know you love the sweaters because you messaged me and they were so cute. So she bought two. There was a vintage purple knit sweater, which I'll pop up here. And then she also grabbed a Gap uh, satin reversible jacket, which I had literally just posted. And she just quickly contacted me and it was good. Uh, on Poshmark, we sent out a total of 36 packages, which is quite a busy week for us. 20 of these were single sales and 16 of these were bundle sales. And our bundle sales were pretty good this week. The average sale price for our items was $18.88, which is a little bit lower than what I hope for. And it's so hard not to play this comparison game because of course, when I see like other resellers that have like average sale price of you know 25 to 35 dollars I'm always like oh I wish but I have to be realistic in the items that I'm thrifting and what I'm paying for and my cost of goods and what I'm selling them for and I and I think this is a pretty good turnaround considering most of my items come from the Goodwill bins. The highest sale this week, I'm going to shout this out because this was amazing. It was a beautiful jacket. I did think it would sell for a little bit more. It was a handmade blue jacket or coat with a fur lining on the hood and it sold for $47. I originally had this listed for about $100 and I think I just kind of missed the winter rush, like the winter you know, when people were all buying their coats. Okay, so let's get this going into the sales. I have a lot of sales to go over. I'm sorry, this is gonna be a, a lengthy video, but I always like to kind of go through these in detail. The first was a bundle. This was on the 22nd, and it was a Roxy blue raglan sleeve sweater in a large and a Lowell black athletic jacket in a large and a pair of LA Idol skinny jeans in a size nine. These were a dark wash with white stitching. They were also in a size 31. The whole bundle sold for $40, which was a pretty good deal on many of these items. When she created the bundle, sent me an offer. I was okay with that. I hope you like them, Trina. It's a cute outfit, just cute items put together. All right, on to the next sale. This was a pair of Levi's 541 high-waisted straight leg jeans in a size 32. These sold for $25. They were in great condition and that was my asking price. Same day I had another bundle. It was a pair of Sorel Joan of Arctic boots with leather on them in a size eight. And then she also added in a Columbia men's titanium winter ski jacket in a double XL. The boots to me were kind of worth the most. I knew the Columbia men's jacket would be a little bit of a harder sale to put through just because uh, I just don't see a lot of jackets moving right now. I had grabbed the jacket at my last bins haul, so it was a pretty low cost. And the boots I had actually picked up on, on one of our little trips for $8. I had really low cost of goods on this, and it was, what, like $9? And so when she sent me an offer for $70, I accepted it. I felt like it was a fair price for each item. Uh, next up, this was another bundle. It went to Kimberly, and it was a two-piece. First item in the bundle was a dynamite black quarter zip blouse in a double extra small. I've had this one probably since summertime. It's been a while sitting in the closet. And a pair of silver jeans, Tuesday 
low baby boot cut in a size 26. She sent me an offer for $43. I accepted it. It was pretty good. Um, both items are cute and in great condition. Same day. So this Monday was just a crazy busy day. So I had another pair of jeans. These were American Eagle jegging skinny distressed jeans in a size 4. Olivia had sent me an offer for $14, which I accepted. I'm actually working on this. I'm just trying to accept reasonable offers now. This bundle was on Tuesday, February 23rd. I really like this bundle. When she placed these items together, I was... I was excited. I was really excited. I love each of these individually and all together. These items are like amazing. Just amazing. First item was a vintage floral kimono top in an extra large. It's a vintage 90s colorful knit vest in a large, which I actually had just thrifted two days ago. And the last item in this was a vintage oversized pastel knit sweater in a medium. Super cute. Oh my gosh, I love all of these. She sent me an offer for $55 for all items and I accepted it. These are cute, they're great, and they are still in transit. Oh my gosh, I was hoping that she would have received these by now because I'm kind of excited to hear what she has to say. Uh, same day on Tuesday, I had another bundle. This was for an Aritzia TNA purple hoodie sweater in an extra small and a Zara white lace crop top in a medium. We agreed on $30, sent those out. This was same day, Tuesday, 23rd, a Zara high-waisted mom jeans that were distressed. They were in a size eight. They sold for $20. I thrifted these locally. I think I paid somewhere around $4 for them. My earnings were $15.80 off there, so I probably made about 11 bucks. Quick flip, good items. I'm okay with that. This was on Wednesday the 24th, and this bundle went out to a gentleman. It was two items. One was a Davis Squire men's v-neck merino wool blend lark or sweater in a large and also a Hurley black v-neck sweatshirt in a large as well. The bundle price was for $25. Just a, some great pieces. I've had both of these for a little while and actually I just looked at them the other day before they sold and thought man I maybe I you know missed on these items but definitely whatever they they weren't what I thought I would get for them but I'm happy to see them go still making a profit off them do you sell men's clothing in your closet do you watch men's fashion are you following their trends I think it's maybe something I have to pay a little bit closer attention to all right this next bundle this was such a cool bundle I love both these pieces the first one was a tan corduroy cowhide jacket in a small I had thrifted this locally I did pay up for it and I want to say I paid somewhere around $20 for the the item probably not as much of a return as I thought I would get on the item as well and then there was an AC luxury men's black leather moto jacket in a large and I grabbed this from my last bins trip whole bundle cost $60 and I probably had about $21 $22 in inventory into this it's still a good return I definitely thought that that tan corduroy jacket would sell for more not what I thought it was gonna be I enjoy sharing with you guys some of my hits and my misses because just like you, I make total misjudgments on items that I pick up where I'm like, this is such a cool item or I think this is gonna do really well and it doesn't. We all do it. I always say this, I cannot predict what is gonna sell and what isn't. So for example, this next item, I had thrifted this a couple days before. It was a vintage floral textured knit sweater, 24 wide was the way it was sized. I think I paid somewhere around $4 for it. I listed at 35. She paid full asking price for $35. That was a surprise to me. I was quite happy with that sale when it showed up. Very unique item. All right, next sale, it was a pair of Champion Rusty Pink running shoes in a size eight. I actually paid, I think, somewhere around $10 for these shoes and Poshmark's earnings from them were $10.85. So I made a whopping, a whopping 85 cents. Wow, crazy. Oh, just like gonna be retiring off this. <laughs> totally kidding oh my gosh no I'm not this was an example of something that I thought would do well just didn't move let it go sometimes you don't make anything sometimes you lose a little bit money as I'm gonna tell you guys coming up at least I'm not holding on to this inventory anymore and having to share it oh I am sometimes I'm just so done sharing items certain items that sit there for a while next item to sell was a torrid cream floral long sleeve 
thermal top in a 3x. This sold for $19. This came from my last bins haul. I have not had it very long. I was happy with the price that it sold for. I think I'm on to Thursday now. This was a Harley Davidson burgundy graphic sweater in a small. It sold for $24. I'm not seeing Harley Davidson stuff move as quickly as it was a year ago. If you see them in the thrift store, just know that you may not get the prices that you were a year ago, but they're still selling. I, there's still money to be made. This was a bins item for me. A good turnaround on that one. Next up was another bundle sale. This sold for $60. She also received a $3 shipping discount. And all three of these items were fairly new to my inventory. I love picking up lingerie. I don't know why, I just, I think it's, it looks beautiful to photograph. It sells quickly in my closet. So the first item was a Licenza blue sheer lace baby doll in a size medium. Next item in this bundle was an Alicenza purple satin bodysuit lingerie in a medium. And this was super cute, vintage kind of style. Oh my gosh, it was all levels of sexy. It was so cool. And the last item in this bundle was a Licenza pink baby doll sheer lingerie in a medium as well. Yeah, when she put it together, we did have a few issues. So she built the bundle, bought it, but then realized she wanted to add another item. So I canceled the, the bundle. We added the other item and I sent her an offer and sent her an offer with a shipping discount but for some reason it didn't show up on her end and she purchased it and she didn't get the discount or the sh or the shipping discount of course we kind of were chit-chatting and I said you know what why don't we cancel and do this one more time I apologize I don't know what happened and she was like I don't want to inconvenience you I said, no no I am just like you I want to save money I told you I would give you this deal let's do this one more time so I canceled the sale relisted the items built the bundle sent her the offer and told her to only accept it if she could see the, the offer that I was sending. It went through, she was happy. It actually happened on one of my night shifts and I was doing it on my lunch break at like 12.30 in the morning, whatever. Happy we could figure it out. I'm uh, excited to hear what she has to say when she receives them because they are still in transit. Next sale, same day was a pair of Coach Marla snakeskin black leather heels. These were in a size 10. I've had a lot of interest in these shoes, but I've had them for quite a while. So I've had these since September, partially maybe because we were heading into winter months. People really aren't looking for strappy sandals. I just thought that they would do better than they did. I was happy that they left she purchased them for my asking price. Next sale was a dynamite cream knit oversized cardigan. This was sized as a medium to large and a gray black Aztec sweater vest in a one size. Both of these items I had grabbed at the bins. I felt like they were generally pretty low cost. I sent her an offer for $21. She was really happy with that. She said, thank you so much. I hope you love them, Kristen. These are really cute pieces for you to be adding to your closet. Same day, another sale. So this was another bundle. It sold for $31. I had a Clio tan knit wool blend cardigan sweater in a size medium and a Northern Reflections blue floral knit cardigan in a large. I love these grandma sweaters. I love these kind of, you know, mature style. I think they're cute. I think they're very on trend. I think there's a whole bunch of young women right now that are trying to be older than they are. And I mean older by like 50 years. The style is so cute. And I, yeah, I just love it when these items go out. Oh my gosh, these sales were crazy. I knew that we were going to be busy on the weekends. Definitely try and get communication and sales out, offers, drop prices when it's the, you know, drop your price and Poshmark pays the discounted shipping. I always do that. This was another bundle. It sold for $47. All three of these items grabbed at my last bins haul, so I was happy to see them go. It was a Cynthia Rowley blue extra fine merino wool top in a size small, a Lucky Brand pink button down shirt in a size small as well, and actually this did not come from my last bins haul. I've had this one since like September, and an Aritzia Tallulah wool cashmere Angora blend cardigan in a size small. Great pieces. Okay, next item. This is also February 26th. It was a gray and striped sleeve sweater in an XL. This was actually an Old Navy sweater. I had grabbed at my last bins haul. It sold for $9. I knew that this would be either as a single sale, but I thought it definitely would be going into a bundle and I'd probably be getting a really good, giving someone a really good deal on it. When I think about it, is this worth sharing multiple times again a day? 
Not really. I took it. I made $4.85 off of that. Next up was a pair of Poppy Barley Soft Oxfords in Burgundy. These were in a size seven and a half. This was a new brand to me. They retail for quite a bit of money. I had grabbed these at the bins and multiple people had gone through these, sh these the shoe bins and not seen this or not grabbed them. They looked like they could be cheaper Oxfords, but they actually were so far from that. They were beautiful, buttery, leather Oxfords. They're the kind of shoes that shaped your foot. They were gorgeous when I brought them home. I don't think I even realized the value of them until I did my comp searching. She had sent me an offer for $35, which I accepted. I thought that that was very reasonable. Next bundle to sell was, this is another fantastic bundle. It sold for $60. So the first item in the bundle was a Sam Edelman black quilted coat in a size medium. I didn't even know that Sam Edel Edelman made clothing and jackets and stuff. I had listed I think originally around $30 and then kind of just dropped the price. You know how it goes, right? She also got a pair of Lululemon Get Going Teal Joggers in a size 6. I've had these in like my death pile for months. I think I got them in October. I don't know why I didn't list them. I don't enjoy listing pants as much. I don't enjoy photographing them. I usually do a stock photo with pants just because I don't dig the flat lays and I think that's just why I procrastinate them. I listed these and they sold within a week. This is why you should not let things sit in a death pile. And the last item in this bundle was a North Face green gray sweater in a medium. I originally thrifted this for Emika. I thought that she was gonna love it. She did take it, but just never wore it. And I was like, okay hey girl, you're not wearing this sweater. Take it out, let me sell it. I know that I paid $10 for that sweater. All in all, I probably had, I don't know, somewhere around $15 in inventory costs here and the bundle sold for 60. Next sale, this was a pair of jeans. It was a pair of silver jeans, Manchester distressed straight in a size 29. They sold for $23. I think that was straight what I was asking for. It was a really quick sale. I was happy with that one. This is the next sale. This is on the Saturday. I had just thrifted this item. It was a vintage red Aztec Western print fleece vest in a size 18. And I literally had it listed for an hour. I put it at $25, which is kind of the average price of what I put my fleece vests at. And it sold within an hour. Oh my gosh, that was so crazy. I did not see that coming. The print was unique. And I think the sizing, if you can find plus size items, pick them up, especially if they're reasonably priced, there is not much on the market. I will always grab plus sizes stuff when I see it. Next sale, this was on the Saturday, was an Express Wool Blend pea coat. In a medium. This jacket uh, sold for $13. They got a shipping discount of $3 because I sent out offers to likers. I think it probably cost me a dollar or two on in a bins haul. My earnings were $5.70. Not a big earnings. Again, I've had this item for a few months and I sent offers to likers on like every single item in my closet the other day just to try and clear out some of the jackets. My little closet that I store all these jackets in is like busting at the seams. Like I have to like push the jackets in and shut the door to get it to close. I need to get rid of jackets. You're going to see some big sales coming out of my closet soon on jackets to get them moving. Okay, I'm trying to find the one that I lost money on. Okay, it's a couple more. We're gonna get to it. Next sale, this was from Emika's Closet. It was a Burton Green graphic snowbird sweater in an extra small. It actually came from Lena. This sweater went through both of my kids. It sold for $16. I gave them a $3 shipping discount. This was at Offer to Likers. My earnings were $8.46. Like, can you believe I made $8.46 off of an item that both of my kids have worn. Like, that's crazy. That's so awesome. If that doesn't motivate you to go through your closet or to go through your kid's closet, I don't know what will. I will take that any day, any day. And like zero cost on the inventory, which is even better. The next sale, this was one of my favorite items. So I just thrifted it, listed it, sold within a day. It was a Northern Reflections purple grandma sweater in a size medium. It had like a white collar on it. It was so cute, so unique. I'm loving this grandma style right now. It sold for $22. She also got a $3 shipping discount on the offer to Likers. So my earnings was $14.23. I think I paid somewhere around $4. So made about 10, not a huge profit, but whatever. That is like, I, I think it was like within two days of thrifting. That's pretty quick flip. She received it and true to size, very cute, fast delivery, cute packaging. Thanks girl. I hope you love it. 
it's so cute oh if you don't follow me on instagram make sure you do i'm gonna drop this link right here and i want you to tag me in your outfit anyone if you guys are listening if you have ever bought something from me please tag me in your outfits i will throw you onto my stories i love seeing these outfits you guys buy the cutest clothing from me if you watch this i'm not sure i'm not sure but I'm gonna throw it out there, tossing it into the world, out to the universe. All right, next item. This was an ABS Platinum Faux Leather Sleeveless Top in a medium. It sold for $13. I think I got this at one of my bins hauls maybe one or two times ago. It was a really good quality top. I don't know why it didn't sell. Maybe it's the style. I'm not really sure. It only sold for $13. I was kind of surprised. And she also got a shipping discount. So I mean, my earnings on it was only, was only, yeah, $5.70. That's not very, that's not very much actually. I had a few really low profit sales this week. And I want you guys to see that not everything is like big profit and, and huge flips. Like sometimes you're just making five bucks off an item. This was one of them. All right, this is the last day of the week. This was for February 28th. And I got a couple more sales on this day. So the first was a bundle. It was a four piece bundle sold for $60. In the bundle was a vintage purple quarter zip long sleeve sweater and a medium. Also an Urban Outfitters oversized gray graphic tee and an XL. I really wanted to keep this for myself, but it was way too big for me. There was also a Racing is Life black hoodie sweater in a size large. Super cute. Loved it. Love racing. Love motocross. The last item in this bundle was a vintage fleece grandma long sleeve sweater in an XL. It is so cute and pretty. And the bundle again sold for 60 bucks. She has not received it, but I'm excited because this bundle has so many great pieces in it. Next sale, this is the sale I lost money on. So I'm gonna lay this out. I've had this sweater. It's a chunky, loose knit, open cardigan, gray sweater in a size medium large. I've had this item for probably 13 years. I think I've had it as old as, as long as, as old as, Emika, if that makes sense. I have worn it through many jobs because it was just, you could dress it up or wear it ca casual, whatever. Anyways, I did a little bit of closet cleaning a couple weeks ago. I cannot believe I've had this sweater that long. Pulled it out, I'm like, whatever, if I make a couple bucks on it, who cares? I'm gonna get rid of it. It's better than donating it, right? couple bucks in my pocket. I think I listed it somewhere around 10 or $15 originally. Somehow it's gotten down to $7. It also went on an offers to likers days. She paid $7. She also got a shipping discount, which puts my earnings at, are you ready? Negative 30 cents. Yes, I paid Poshmark 30 cents to ship this item, that's so crazy. I didn't even know that they could sell things into the negative. Have you ever owed money to Poshmark on an item because it went into the negative? I have not, I thought, I don't know what I thought. I didn't think it was possible, but it happened. I definitely will be watching and checking my item prices. This is how things can go wrong. Now, at the end of the day, whatever, it's 30 cents, it's no longer in my closet, and it's gonna gain some more years of life, which, it already has 13. Keep going strong. I hope the new owner loves it. I hope you love it, girl. It's a cute piece. I just, that's crazy. Craziness. All right, let's keep this rolling because we only got a couple more. The next bundle was a two-piece bundle. This sold for $25. It was a Dreamer vintage style, long sleeve fleece jacket and an extra small. Super cute. I love the print. I thought it would go for a little bit more, but on Sundays I marked down a bunch of things in my closet for a closet clear out and this fell into that. There was also a men's black race car short sleeve shirt in a large and I had had it priced at $13. Originally I thrifted this way back last summer. Thought the item would do good. Thought race cars were like the thing for shirts, right? Because Urban Outfitters had a bunch of them and a lot of the other young people's stores were selling like these kind of vintage style shirts. But this shirt I've just had forever. So when she built the bundle, sent me an offer for $25. I accepted it. I think maybe we even had a little bit of bantering back and forth. 25 was my bottom dollar, especially since that vintage fleece I had just posted a couple days before. Regardless of the story, it's sold. I'm happy. She's happy. Enjoy the item. It's beautiful. Both items. So the next item to sell was a pair of Victoria's Secret red pom-pom slippers in a medium. Super cute. Sold for $7. Oh my gosh! 
I paid posh again. They got a shipping discount. Okay, I gotta figure out this threshold. It must be seven. So items have to be priced over $8 when you send out offers to Likers. This is here in Canada, or I think I'm gonna owe the money. I paid 30 cents to ship out this item. That's so crazy. Oh my gosh. I lost 60 cents this month. I paid 60 cents to send out items. I better, actually, I should be subtracting that from my total. Oh my gosh, that's what I need to do. Okay, so next bundle that went out, this was a two-piece bundle. It sold for $45. It was a Mono B light wash distressed jean jacket in a size small and an anthropology moth black ivory trim blazer in a medium. That was a tongue twister. I actually threw a picture of that blazer into Google Lens to get the keywords that I needed. And these are the keywords that popped up, but they sound ridiculous when you put them into one sentence. Jenny, I hope you love it. These are cute pieces. Great price on them too at $45. So close. Next bundle was for $27. This was a Roots gray athletic zip up sweater jacket in a size medium and a genuine leather black woven belt in a size 31 to 34 waist. Whenever I list belts, I always put the belt on like the tightest loop and then on the largest loop and measure so that way people know what the difference is because I've seen belts that are listed as like small, medium, large. How do you know like, I don't know, I think there should be like an inch measurement. I always do my best to put that up for potential buyers. And next item, this was a black faux fur hooded parka in a size large. I've had this for a bit. I grabbed it at the bins. There was no brand. Like it was literally a no-name brand. It sold for $16. She got a $3 shipping discount, which put my earnings at $8.46. Probably paid about a buck, buck fifty for it. Probably not an item I should have grabbed, but you know me at the bins. I grab everything that I think I can make a couple bucks on. And the last item for the week was that handmade blue fur hood coat in large. It was actually made at a reserve in Alberta here in Canada. That's exactly what it said on the label. The price was for $47. This was a fantastic deal on this piece as I felt like it was kind of worth somewhere over $100. Kind of missed the boat posting it for winter coat and I was happy to see it go. I grabbed this uh, at the bins for a much lower cost, so I did see a profit in it. I'm usually happy to accept reasonable offers. I hope you love it, girl, and she is waiting to receive it. Well, that wraps up our week. I hope you uh, found some value in what has been selling for us. Really, I just kind of want to show you guys what's been selling, what it's selling for, kind of what our bundles are going out. I get a lot of questions from people on like, how do I do bundles, things like that. If you haven't watched my last What Sold video, this was for the month of February and I highlighted a lot of bundles that left. If you haven't seen it, make sure you click this link. All I can say is that anytime someone likes an item, what I do is I add it into a bundle and I send them just a nice casual comment. Let them know whatever sale you're running in your closet, if you offer a shipping discount and ask them if they need any help or to let you know if they need help. It doesn't have to be spammy, but just communicate with them. I build a lot of bundles off of straight, old, solid communication. And that is it. That's all I got. I'm going to be working on some new videos. I'm actually taking a YouTube course through Becky Park on Poshmark. If you don't follow her, I'm actually gonna toss a link in the bio below and you should really check her out. So anyway, she is running a YouTube course to help grow and create better content and I'm really excited. So you guys are gonna see some more videos and content coming out. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and I hope you have a fabulous week. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye.